Ya hello, welcome to Quipla and my Yuan's Triple Piston Extender Farm. Today we're going to be exploring 18 different types of Triple Piston Extenders that are all completely flesh. So let's jump straight into it. Uh, not all of these are by me and my Yuan. A couple of them are by other people from the Redstone community, but for the most part, they're by us. So this very first one is probably my favorite design. This is by Skyflip. Really simple and really small too. So I probably won't be showing too many tutorials on how to make most of these. Uh, I'll put a timestamp right here if you guys want to see when I do show a couple of them. But for the most part, you can probably just pause the video and figure it out. So this one is just three ticks on the side with the red soul lamp and one tick on this side. The next one is one I made, but it's pretty much Skyflip's design. Uh, the only issue with his design is that there's one block too tall. Whenever I like to make doors, I like to keep it as small as possible, and so I don't want to go any taller than this piston right here. So this is, I should be showing you how to build this one later, but exact same thing, really simple, and pretty quick too. This next one is by my Yuan. Uh, it's almost the exact same thing as this one. It's just, it uses a different design pretty much. So I'll put a link for the world download. If you guys are interested in that, and you can probably check out all of these. Because I think they're pretty cool, and if you guys are need in need of a triple piston extender, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of them here. So, yeah, not much to say about this one. It's a little bit bigger than this, but it's also a little bit faster than this. So it's really, it really does depend on what you need the triple piston extender for, and where the input is. So this one's a little bit farther to the left, this one's right next to the piston. So, Different designs for different purposes. This next one, however, is by Mayuan and Lum. It's the smallest one out of all all of these two, except uh, it's only two blocks on the side, and it doesn't go past where this piston is. The only problem with this one is it's really dirty. As you can see, it's it kind of spams a lot, but it does work. Uh, I can show you from the back if you guys want to build it. This observer goes here. This observer goes towards the center, and this one goes to the left. But yeah, really simple, uh, yeah. So now we're getting to a more interesting type of triple piston extender. These are one-sided triple piston extenders that me and my Yuan have made. So the point of these is that they can have two triple piston extenders right next to them. So you can use it for like 6x6 six six vault doors or I don't know. Anything where you need two triple piston extenders right next to each other. So the issue with this one is you have to press it twice for it to go through a full rotation. You press the button twice. So now it spit out the block and it is reset. You press it the first time. It grabs the block. Press it again. And it pulls it all the way back. This one kind of sucks. This was my very first try of it. But the second one is really simple. It's just uh, four observers. This one's pointing to the right. This one's also pointing to the right. Repeater set on three. But this is the exact same thing as that. You have to press it three times for it to go through the full rotation. Or twice, I mean. And there you go. This is the one I use in my 6x6 vault door. Now, so the issue with having to press the button twice is it's really hard to power and give enough delay for it to press twice. So me and my Yuan spent the longest amount of time trying to figure out one where you press it once and it does the whole thing and it's only on one side. Also the other limit is that you can go past this height. But I tried for so long and could not get it and I'm so glad my Yuan did because I believe this is the only one that is one sided and flesh. I've never seen another type so... Yeah, this is, uh, these two observers go here. This is a, this has to be a, dis a dropper. I can't remember why, but it has to be a dropper. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is probably my favorite triple piston extender that's uh, one-sided. But the next one is a bit smaller. This is cropped off by an edge by one block here. Except it has to have a double piston extender right next to it to help it out. So this is what you use for like a vault door. 
You know what I mean? You'd have like five by five here. I kind of didn't explain that very well, but pretty much in vault doors, they have a double in the front and a triple in the back, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I can explain why because my triple does not work. It doesn't have the final retraction because I had a crop off one block. I was trying to imitate this design, but it just did not work. So I had to add a double piston ex or a double piston extender right next to it, just to help it out, and it'll power the last retraction. So yeah, uh, I had to remake this one, however, because the input was on the back, and if you see from here, you cannot power this anyway unless you go one block taller. So I made another one. This one is uh, my UN help done. Uh, pretty much the input is on the front side where the double piston is. So now you can power it easily. But this came at a cost because now uh, it has like this weird little spam effect at the very end. Which is really disappointing but it's the best I tried to come up with other designs but this is the only one that would work. Okay, so this is another one that I made. This is probably the most useful one out of all triple piston extenders because this one does not use a button as an input. How this one works, it is a four tick. So you have to have an observer running into a four tick repeater that runs into this note block. Now you might not think that's really useful, but it really is because that means you can power it by just updating this observer. So let's say you build the rest of the door here, and then you're like, oh, I need to power my triple now. Then you can just have like an observer running across like this, and it will power it. So that's really, really useful. I'll be showing you guys how to build this one later. But this one also took me a fat minute, but uh, it's really quick too. But if you guys are into doors, you probably know how useful this can be. Now we're getting to the fold-in triple piston extender. This is one I made. It's uh, very useless, but it does work. So you press the button and it just... It's, it spits that out, so this is three blocks down. And it leaves the piston there, but if you press it again, it will pull it all the way back. So if you don't understand what I mean by a fold-in, so this is a normal triple piston, right? And it goes three blocks down, but the same thing is done here. What happens here is it, it'll s spit that out, push this in, so that's how it does the triple, then it has to pull it all the way back up. So yeah, not very useful, but uh, I don't think there's many other triple pistons that are folded in like this, that you can just press a button and let it do its thing and it's one wide. So we're pretty much done with the ceiling triple pistons, now we're going to be looking at the side ones. So these are all the ones that come from the wall. Uh, I have no clue who made this one, uh, it was just on my redstone testing world, so... It's really simple. Uh, all the side ones are pretty much the exact same, they all use the exact same concept of just three pistons here and you just have a row of observers. So there's really no difference between them. The only difference is how you power it. This one, as you can see, is wider. Uh, it goes it goes one block too far, and I wasn't a big fan of that. So I made another one. Uh, this is probably my favorite type of input because it's from the bottom. It It's a little bit taller now, but uh, this makes it a lot more useful actually because it's a lot easier to power it when you make a really compact door because then you can just have a repeater run into this. Like a repeater like this run into that, and it's really easy to power. But when it's up here, it's a lot, lot harder to uh, get redstone to it. So this is the first attempt, and this is the most compact one. I'll be showing you guys how to build this one later, but this is the one I use in my 6x6 vault. Very, very simple. Just, uh, yeah. You could probably build it just from looking at it. So now this triple piston extender is by Brajef. Uh, it 
it's the only one that comes out of the floor because for the floor triple piston extenders you have to put an observer at some point here just let me show you this observer has to come in and power it and so it makes it really really difficult also i'm not a huge fan of it because wooden buttons are not my thing but if you guys are interested you could definitely build this still uh these observers go like that this one goes to the left and you could probably figure out the rest. This has to be an immovable object. And this is... This is probably the biggest brain triple piston extender, honestly. This next one here is by my Ewan. Uh, it was just a challenge I kind of gave to him. There's really no point to it. Uh, the whole point of this triple piston extender was it had to use a lever to power. And so it works like all the other ones. Uh, it does leave the piston down. But it's one wide and a little bit taller, but it does use a lever. Maybe somebody could find this useful. I highly doubt it, but it's kind of cool. So this is a pushing only triple piston extender. So it can only push in one direction, but it's from the floor. So it takes this block right here and it goes up three blocks and matches with the floor. And it has a fold-in, so it's really, really compact, too. So that's how that works. And, you know, if you have, like, a glass block here, you can use this for, like, a 3x3. Uh, three three. And you can use it to push it up, push up all three glass blocks, which is pretty cool. And it doesn't pull it back or anything, but it's probably useful maybe i don't know i used it for my 3x3 glass store but maybe somebody else can find a use for it but pretty much uh this observer goes there this one goes there and this one goes there so. yep and this is the final triple piston extender for today uh this one doesn't spit the block this is a pushing only so what happens is if you have like a block here and you want to push it all the way down three blocks, this is really useful for that. Um, uh, yeah, don't really know how to explain it. This observer goes there, this one goes there, this one goes in that direction, and these two repeaters are set to four, this one's set to one. This is my favorite uh, pushing ripple piston, uh, my Ewan made this one, but it's it's really nice. I find it's super compact, so I find a use for this all the time. But yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to build some of these. This is the second one I showed you guys. So we're going to start off with where the triple piston is. And just pretty much put three sticky pistons facing straight down like that. And then on the left side, second block, uh, you could also do on the right. It's only one wide, so you can figure it out. But pretty much put a redstone lamp there, repeater there, and a block here. Button. And now you go to the left side of this button. That. Observer facing down. An observer reading this one, facing into the redstone lamp, with another observer reading the lamp, pointing straight down. And you have to put a block here, because it helps with the triple piston. Then you put a repeater there, set to three. Oops. Observer here, it runs into a block, a block, one block below it, like that. Some redstone dust, place it here, and observer right next to this green block facing straight down with a repeater running straight into it. And that's pretty much it. The next one is the derpy one, the super small but derpy one. Um, again, just find a spot for it, triple piston facing straight down, and how they have it is an observer facing to the right, block here, block there, button right there, put some dust here, dust here, and a repeater there. This is set to two. Now on the left side, observer into a red cell lamp with a observer pointing straight down the right and straight down again. There you go. 
Okay, the next one is the four tick repeater triple piss six center. This is probably the most useful one, so it's probably best if I make a tutorial on it. Three sticky pistons facing straight down. And on the left side or right, uh, we're gonna have an observer facing to the left. Then we're gonna have an observer facing straight down diagonal to it, and another one facing straight down next. Read this observer pointing into the back, uh, pointing straight back like this. And then underneath this one, I have an observer facing to the right. Either here, redstone dust there, there, and there. And I believe this is set to two ticks. Now on the right side of this, note block there, and one diagonal to it. Repeater here, with a sticky piston facing straight down, and a observer, oopsies. An observer one block down, like that. Then we're gonna have another observer read this note block pointing straight down, point to the left. And I believe that is everything. Did I miss? Oh, I missed one thing. Uh, observer facing straight up here, reading reading this one into the note block. And yeah, that's it. Now, if you have a repeater pointed into this note block, set to four, and just an observer on the back of this repeater. The next one is the side triple piston center, probably my favorite one, most useful. So how this works is three, three pistons, observer reading the farthest one pointing straight up, two pointing towards the center, block here, either there, set this one to two I believe, set this one to four, <laughs> and you go from where this piston is, build four blocks down, and break uh, these two. Put some torch here, put some torch there, button. And from where the screen block is, server facing straight down, to the right, right back up. And repeater pointing to the right, reading this redstone torch, up to two. And if it's not working for you, that's probably because you don't have these two blocks here. They are essential for making it. The last one I'm going to show you guys is the pushing triple piston extender. So like always, three pistons facing straight down, block there, button, and to the right, diagonal to it, observer facing down, one reading that pointing to the left, one facing straight down again. Repeater here, set to two, or wait, no, this is set to one. And then observer reading this piston pointing to the left, with another observer, diagonal, pointing to the right, and then block here, Put in your Florida. Repeater pointing straight back into this piston, set to 4. And one here, set to 4 also. Pointing to the left. And there you go. But that's pretty much all the triple piston extenders that I have to show you guys, so... I hope some of them are useful, maybe not. But uh, uh, the next video I'll be posting is how you can create your own triple piston extender from scratch. I'm going to be teaching you guys the inner workings of it and how to make one because I know when I started Redstone that I didn't like copying people and I really wanted to learn and understand how they work so I can make them myself. So stick around for the next episode and that's what I'll be showing you guys.